Hey you guys, it's Kim here. I haven't done a video in a very long time, actually in a couple of months. Um, I wasn't happy with my content, so I decided not to um, post it. And anyways, this video is all about a life update. Um, so some people may say that I should consider myself so and so, but um, anyways, let's get into it. Um, so as you guys know, I was vegan. I started back in um, July. I was vegan up to November 1st. Um, I have to admit, being vegan was the best thing for me, um, but I live with my family, so I live with my parents and I live with my uncle, which those three eat meat, and um, my mom was not happy that I was cutting out meat. Um, she is a registered nurse, so she does know that there is a lot of nutrients we do get from eating meat. And um, I guess what I'm trying to say is November 1st, I decided, you know, let's try and eat meat, see if it was just certain things that were bothering me. So for the whole month of November, I ate meat every day. Um, I have to admit though, it made me tired, it made me weak, it made me unhappy. Um, my digestive system was groggy. I my bowel movements weren't very good like they were when I was eating no meat, no dairy, just strictly on a vegan diet for four months. That was the best time. I was happy in that time. So anyways, I thought I should just come on here and let you guys know that I am restarting right from the beginning. So as of December 1st will be my first day going vegan again and um, that is really important to me. Um, it's not that I don't like meat. I grew up on meat my whole life and it's coming to terms with how my body reacts when I eat meat. It's kind of telling me like I should have never ate meat um, years ago like growing up I never should have been eating meat I should have actually not have had meat like my body has a hard time digesting protein and meat is like your hardest protein to digest and so like yeah I decide just to um, make my family happy because you know you always want a happy medium and um, I've been getting a lot of requests for a new video so I thought why not do an update and show everyone like yeah there are struggles to being vegan when growing up on meat and when living with a family that still eats meat so and you want to keep everyone happy so of course I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to get all my vitamins like um, so I have a few things to do um, as for my um, I guess my weight loss journey I have came to a point in my life where I want to lose my weight but I'm not sure how. I'm not interested in beach body programs anymore. Like I lose interest doing them. Like I'll do them for a week and then I won't do them. And that's just a waste of money and a waste a waste of time. Um, so I am looking at probably getting back into the gym and getting a personal trainer. So hopefully, um, I have been messaging one about um, 
meeting up with her for an orientation and seeing how she can help me and possibly getting a gym membership again with a, a different gym which is just like two minutes away from my house versus 15 to the gym that I was going to um, for a year. Well, it would have been almost a year if I would have waited till August before I canceled it, but um, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just, I forgot to message her about something. Uh, I texted her yesterday about it. Um, she reached out to me back in October. A personal trainer from Motion Fitness in Saskatoon, but um, I had a death at work. It was um, my manager, but when I lived out on the farm, she was also a neighbor, so like two of her oldest daughters babysat me and my brother, and then there's her youngest daughter that grew up. She was two years older than my brother, or three, or something like that. So she never babysat us. She was just a really good friend, close friend. And um, so that's another update. So I really didn't um, get to see her. It was just a hard week of uh, not getting in my training and stuff. So anyway, it's like... I'm hoping she can either meet with me tomorrow or on my nine day stretch sometime next week and hopefully I can get started because I want to lose 40 pounds. Like, I know a lot of people are going to say I'm crazy but um, the thing is behind my, I guess behind my backstory I should actually read it because I have it like written on my phone in my notes. Um, I won't read it all, but I'll kind of give you guys like a background story on why I want to lose that much weight and where it's coming from and where my mindset is. Um, so yeah, health and fitness, that's my one. Okay, so where is this, nope, that's not the right one, sorry. Um, Spicy. Okay, shall we say? Okay, because on this side. Mm -hmm. So you guys, it's taking me a long. No, picture. these aren't the right ones. <laughs> Anyways, um, about nine years ago, I weighed uh, between 102 and 105 pounds. So like, I always was able to like fluctuate, and I like that. So of course, I want to get back down to 102 pounds but also flu fluctuate but still look like a healthy person not too thin but have muscle and everything um i was that tiny when i figure skated i worked out okay i figure skated six five to six days a week and then added sometimes when i got home from skating and then when i didn't skate i worked out at home. So okay, I skated in Prince Albert on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And in Waka I skated Tuesdays and Thursdays, which Waka I started out with, but once I wanted to be more competitive in my figure skating, that's when I started going to a second skating club with my cousin, which I won't mention in the video because I don't think she would want me to, and I don't even think she would watch my videos, but um, maybe one day um, I will get her to film with me, and we'll do like a Q&A or something, and she's up to it. She does have three kids, so I will have to ask her. Um, Anyways, back to my story. Um, and then I worked out like always Sundays I always worked out and then Tuesdays and Thursdays I worked out because I always got home at like, I only skated from like 3.30 to like 4 30 or something like that and walk and then I taught can skate 
till like 5.30 or something like that. I forget, but <laughs> it was like crazy. Anyways, and I would go home, eat supper, and then work out on those two days, and of course Sundays. So like, I was used to working out, but um, my last year of figure skating, I actually hurt my left knee really badly. I slammed it on the ice really bad at a competition, and I was actually testing for my pre novice And when I slammed it on the ice, I also slid and hit it right after into the boards so um i ended up in i was close to crushing it apparently when my doctor at the time took an x-ray of it uh, but instead um blood just formed underneath it and pushed my kneecap up so i had to wear a knee brace but um my doctor told me i would have to wear a knee brace if i wanted to continue figure skating and i found it so uncomfortable so I was just like, well, you know, it's, I'm not sure if I'll skate after high school, so why not quit my last year of high school and, you know, just let my knee actually heal or, you know, just take the spring off. Like, I skated all year round. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I skated summer, spring summer, fall, winter, I went to summer competitions, I went to spring competitions, I went to fall competitions, I went to winter competitions, like I was competing non-stop. <laughs> a lot of my friends from school would be like, Kim, you have no life. And yeah, I, like, bigger skiing was my life, it hit a lot of, pro a lot of my issues and a lot of my problems, so like, I hit depression at a very young age. I hit it at 13. I was badly bullied. Um, if you guys want a bullying kind of story, backstory, um, comment down below and I will do a separate video on that because that can go on for a long time. <laughs> um, anyways, be careful don't drop it because you don't want to get splattered. I hit depression, I hit anxiety at a very young age. Um, anxiety was kind of caused by my jaw locking, so like I do have TMJ. Um, sorry, I'm playing with my hair. Um, anyways, I'm brunette again. Yeah, and I have layers, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment, comment down below on what you guys think. If I should stay this color or if I should go a little bit darker. I don't want to go too dark because my complexion is very fair so and the blonde I didn't think quite looked very well on my complexion it made me washed out so anyways back to my story <laughs> kind of jumping all over the place right now um, so after a quick figure skating I was 17 it was the spring of 2009 I quit my figure skating before my grandpa died and my grandpa died two months after I quit so I hit even I guess I'll say I hit rock bottom then because I kind of lost myself sorry you guys my um storage on my iPad filled up. Anyways, so what I was talking about was my depression. Uh, it got bad when my grandpa passed away because I had no way of hiding it. I couldn't even hide it with my sport because of course I quit it. I was only taking, gonna take off like the spring and summer and then go back in the fall, but I didn't end up doing that. Anyways, um, so that is a little bit of a background kind of on where I was nine years ago so about when I was in hair school I started gaining weight and that was six years ago so about I graduated high school in 2010 so yeah the beginning of 2010, so June of 2010, and I started gaining weight in end of, no, beginning of 2012, so yeah, two years ago, 
it was six years ago, yeah. not two years ago. Um, about 2014, I wasn't as big as I was now, um, but I have to admit, I wish I never would have let my depression and anxiety kind of control my life. Like, I wouldn't say it was a major factor. Like, I am an emotional eater, so I do emotionally eat. Um, I have kind of broken that habit. Um, I'm just going to grab some actually. I'm kind of thirsty. Um, so, of course, I am an emotional eater, like I said. And I uh, always eat when I'm sad or unhappy or whatnot. And it doesn't really help when um, you always had like this. Uh, I guess I always was watching what I ate when I grew up. And so when I moved away from home, it was just like, it was freedom. But I pushed the majority of my friends away from high school that I grew up with because I didn't really necessarily know how they would take my depression and my anxiety or whatever I wanted to talk to them about. So, of course, I hid that a lot. Um, anyway, so that's where my weight gain came from six years ago. Um, so, of course, I gained 40 pounds. Um, it's easy to lose, um, like I know I can lose it because I have always been active, like very active in my life, so like always in sports and stuff, and um, I just, you know, I just want to get back into shape and um, I was struggling because the only way I'm going to do it is if someone pushes me and I'd rather train with a trainer than um, anything else, but I, I'm like this person that when it comes to health or fitness, it's like I don't want to train with anyone but a female. I don't know why, I just I feel so self-conscious when it comes to my body when I train with men like I did have a male trainer and I felt so awkward and so um shy that maybe it was just because my body I don't know um but anyways uh I'm trying to do trainer with a female at Motion Fitness, so hopefully she'll get back to me when she has time today to let me know if tomorrow works or if the day next week works because I really just want to get started on that and incorporate me being vegan. Uh, so that is a little bit of a daily thing right now. Um, I am gonna have my website up for a business that I am not quite ready to put on my YouTube channel because I don't know what people will say. Um, it is something I was born with. Um, not a lot of people believe in them is what I'll say. You guys can... I guess comment down below if you think you might know what I'm talking about and then or you guys can email me or what to ask me if you were right or something or DM me on Instagram or something but anyways uh, yeah that's pretty much like my website goes live tomorrow um, my business cards will be ordered tomorrow and hopefully I can get my personal training started on Monday but hopefully I can meet with the trainer tomorrow and discuss what the best route would be to go. Um, I think Motion Fitness, the um, the monthly fee is like $19.99 so that is like $3.00 
four dollars cheaper than what I was paying at Good Life. So my mom said she would pay for the personal trainer, but I would be paying for the membership if I have to get the membership, and which I probably would because I just it just get me out of the house, of course, and I don't want to keep it. So, um, anyways, yeah. I think that's all I wanted to talk to you, update you guys on. Oh, um, I, I, hi daddy. Don't look at herself on the, next time you throw my clothes on the bed, fold them. I was in a hurry. Uncle had to go check in. Tell you that Pepsi just disappears. Okay, uh, this is Anyways, my dad. Oh, I knew he was going to come down. But, anyways, uh, <laughs> I'll probably take him out <laughs> when I edit this. Um, yeah, I, uh, no, no one's messaging me right now. But I wanted to talk about this. something else. So while it reduces, I just gotta find it. You know, that'll be for another video, I think. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to talk about my Achilles injury. That I that happened like it's was it three years. It was three years in April since I heard it and. A year in June since I had physio on it. So there are a few things I need to do tomorrow. But um, ever since I hurt my Achilles, I like my mom wears a shoe called a sandal called called Mephistos. So um, she got me the. What are you doing? Anyways. Uh, these ones I wear inside. I have a pair of them outside. Sorry about that, you guys. My dad came down and I just did not want to talk. Um, so my Achilles tendon, I hurt for, no, three years ago. I was in physio a year ago. Um, so my mom wears Mephisto's. Uh, when I first hurt my Achilles tendon and I needed to get a better sandal for it, um, she got me Birkenstocks. So these are a new pair, so I've just been wearing them inside. I have another pair that I've been wearing for a year, but I really love them. I probably wouldn't go to a different flip flop. Um, they're actually comfortable, they're um, better, they have more su support, so they're really good for your, if you ever hurt your Achilles tendon, um, I'd probably, like, when I figure skated in grade 9, I tore ligaments in my left ankle, so I probably injured my Achilles tendon then, but didn't realize that I did because there's a lot of support in figure skates. It's just the way my foot got hurt tore the ligaments. So of course it was already probably injured, but we didn't know. And then that's why in 2014, April of 2014, it actually really got injured. So yeah. Anyways, uh, I have to get new insoles for my shoes at work, so that's my pl another plan for me tomorrow. And yeah. Anyways, I gotta do some editing here. <laughs> Bye.